Part 3 says show by calculation that the root um, of this equation lies between 1.8 and 1.9. Um, notice that we're first of all, notice that we're in radians here. We had pi on our diagram earlier. Anytime you're using trig in C3 or C4, um, apart from vectors, you're probably going to need to be in radians unless it says something else. So make sure you calculate as in radians to begin with. Now I'm going to want to use the sign change rule. In order to use the sign change rule, I'm going to have need my equation to equal zero. So the first thing I'm going to do is take away x so that, that I've got an equal zero here. Um, because then when I put in 1.8 and 1.9, one number will be above zero and the other will be below. So when x equals 1.8, in three lots of the inverse cos of 1.8, take 1, take 1.8, is hopefully going to be a bit above or below 0. So I'm going to type that in. And I get 0. Point positive 0. 0.13. For 1.9, I get negative, so that's good, negative 0 0.55, and the sign has changed, just note that the sign has changed at the side of your work. So therefore we can say because of the sign change rule, due to the sign change rule, there must be a root between 1.8 and 1.9.